So let's take a picture really quick. Bro, take a picture. Take a picture. Take a That thing back there is the portal. For the longest time, that thing was completely shut off. So if you don't know what the portal is, basically um, there's an identical one of those. It's an art installation, but basically it's a giant screen. There's a camera on the top and those people in the screen are a portal to Ireland. There's an identical one of those little portals set up in Dublin. And so they're seeing a view of New York City. And uh, it's just like a fun little thing in the city. For the longest time it shut down because uh, I think as soon as it opened people started like flashing each other and stuff. Got really out of hand. So they, they shut it down, right? And so I would walk by the thing for a long time and it was just like a blank screen for a long time because it was turned off. I just walked by and they turned it back on and I noticed now they have security around it and it's probably to like regulate people from getting out of hand. The last time they did it, like when it first opened, it was literally just like a uh, choose your own adventure thing. So it's completely unregulated. It got out of hand really quick. It is year 14, week number 718 this week. We are going over to Mike and Whitney's place today for a very special occasion. Friend of the vlog, Mike, we met him maybe like two and a half months ago now. He, he's our YouTube friend, right? So what he does is he does something very similar to like this project here, but he makes videos every single day. They're just short. He makes YouTube shorts basically, but they're just short little videos. He makes one every single day and he has not missed ever since he started. This week he is celebrating his 365th daily video. And so they're holding a little event at their place today. And that's why we're going over to visit them today. The other thing is, so earlier this year, I got this mic system. This is. I got it for Christmas. It was a Christmas gift from my parents. Now, the thing is, is that it's been very spotty ever since I got it. It's brand new and it has not been working. Like it just randomly disconnects. So for example, last week, we filmed Question of the Week with Lucy and that entire clip, I thought it was going through the mic, but the stupid thing was like not even connected. Everything's properly turned on, battery is completely full, but for whatever reason, it, shows or like I listen back to it and the mic is like not connected the entire time and it's basically just using the onboard mic on my phone. It's not supposed to happen that way. So I figured I'm gonna replace the cable first, see if that solves it. And if not, we'll have to buy a new mic. But basically this week we got our new cable in the mail and it's so dumb because this thing is a $25 11 inch cable. Manufacturing cost is probably like 20 cents to make it but they charge you 25 bucks and you like have to buy their cable in order to use the mic. So we're testing it out. Hopefully this right here is working. We bought the pink one because it matches with the phone case. So this week is like my week of testing out the mic with the new cable. Hopefully it works and hopefully we don't have to invest in a new microphone setup. First thing I need to do is uh, we're in flat iron area right now and I need to take some returns to the store. So I'm walking over to the store we're going to drop off the returns and then we're going to go over to their place. So just for a little bit of extra context on Mike, Mike is a person that I met here about two months ago at a YouTubers creators meetup here in the city. This is his handle right here. If you want to check out his YouTube shorts, basically he creates one video per day uploads it to his YouTube channel and has consistently made a video every single day for the past year. And this week, it coincides with his 365th upload. I'm gonna try to get Mike in the video this week. 
We need to interview him. We gotta ask him questions about his process, maybe. I'm trying to think of a good question of the week right now. His process or like how he approaches making a video every single day. Little things like that. I think this is gonna be some good takeaways with what we ask him. Give me some drinks here real quick before we stop by. So I arrive at Mike and Whitney's apartment and the first thing I see is that they're playing, uh, they're doing a little watch party of very old uploads that I have on my channel. They're watching old vlogs of mine basically. And there's this interesting thought that I had while watching these videos. Even though that's me on the screen and I lived all these memories and this is like just a weekly thing that I've done this whole time. I don't know where the line is, but somewhere there's like a blurry middle where it transitions from feeling like a thing that I just did recently to, oh, this is like a completely past life that I lived. All right, Lydia, what's our number? Um, 300. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna no, shuffle through his 365 oh. videos he's made, and if he does or says anything that you have in your bingo card, you mark it off. Can't explain why this works, but it works. I've learned how to mentally reset with just 10 seconds. Here's how it's done. But first, I want to make sure to give credit where credit's due. I listen to this when I work. It's called oh, Flow State. Oh, Flow State. Oh, yeah. The format is he plays some music, and after 30 minutes to 60 minutes, he will give you a break. <laughs> Yo, let me see what you got. There's oh, Laptop, okay. right. Tim Ferriss, <laughs> Mike mentions a book, Let's Coach, and there's a hat. Oh. <laughs> As our bingo winner. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get to choose. You get to choose. Oh, and you'll personally oh, autograph it. Yeah. Oh my god, what an honor. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, this one's really speaking to me. <laughs> You're saying a lot. <laughs> I can't wait for people to ask me. <laughs> Congratulations on 365 daily videos. Thank you. When you make your videos, sometimes there's like hardships you run into or like difficult times where it's hard to make a video every yeah. single day. Yeah. So what do you do to push through that? And then also in your response, like maybe think about people who are watching who have a personal project of their own. Mm. And I want you to like comment on like the bullshitting your way through. I thought that was like good insight. You yeah. Know? You're going to have really good days where you're just flowing mm -hmm. and it's going to come and you're like, man, I killed that thing. Right? And then the next day or a few days later, you're gonna be in front of the camera trying to create content. And you're like, I have nothing to give. I have nothing to say. No, I, you know, I mean, like, why am I even doing this? And I feel like those are the times where you gotta like, do it anyway. Uh -huh. um, and the good thing about creating daily videos is that, which I mentioned in my video, is you just can do one, do your best, and then you have another one tomorrow. So it doesn't have to be like, yeah. it doesn't have to be the most groundbreaking thing. And That's actually, true. Dude, a lot of videos, Wade and I will record it and we'll be like, that was, that was shit. Like, that was a terrible video. Like, you know, but you upload it anyway. You upload it anyway, and some of them actually do really well. Even when, like, your inner critic is telling you that you, you can't or it doesn't feel good. Yeah. Um, you kind of have to do it for the craft. Like, another, you can cut this out. I'm just kind of like, now I'm going. Okay, no, 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 I want to hear this, dude. Um, if you look at your future self, your future self is really good at making content. Your future self, is, it could be any skill. Like your future self is good at it. Uh huh. Um, you have to look back and ask them, like if they had to tell you a piece of advice, what, what advice would that be? My current self, Mike, would tell my past self, um, you, were, you weren't always confident. And like, thank you for like pushing through when it was hard because it wasn't always this way. Like I wasn't always the expert. You know, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, do you, you think about that often? I think it's. I used to think of it more actively, but now it's like, it's kind of a back. It's like a value I have. Okay. Like I'm doing this to serve something hard. Something. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm doing this to serve something like, like future Mike. Okay. Yeah. Dude, so, congrats again. Thanks, man. Yeah. Is the plan to go for another three six five? I think so. I think we're gonna do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Yes.
I've been reviewing the footage that we shot. Um, all the stuff that we filmed with the new mic, this new mic setup. So far, I've got to say, this cable, it's working out, my friends. I think the cable might have been the problem that we had with our mic this whole time. So far, anyway, it's hard to say. This is literally like week one of using the new mic with the new cable. But it's working out well so far. Uh, it's also, it is the next day. We are walking over to shuffleboarding right now. It's not the start of the new league yet, but since it's the middle of the summer, we decided that we want to do like a rehearsal, you know, like just like a practice, run some drills, and then that way it'll prep us for once we get back together in the fall. Laney's friends from Australia are visiting. So I've just met them for the first time today. And right now, Kevin, the team captain of our team, Kevin is teaching them how to play shuffleboarding, like going over the rules of how to play this game. And I think once they learn, we're gonna try to play a game here all together as a group. You need my vlog this week. My friends, we have an update here late into the vlog. So I went to the shuffleboard meetup this week and I completely forgot about the fact that one of the team members on the team is a runner. And so I thought, you know, since I'm on this running journey now, I should hit her up and see if she wants to go for a run, you know? I sent her a message and I was like, listen, I know it's been a while, but since the last time you saw me, I've become a runner, just like you, my friend. I joined North Brooklyn Runners, you know, it's a very massive, popular running club in our area. So I think if I mentioned that to a runner around here, they would understand what I'm talking about. So I just name dropped North Brooklyn Runners. I was like, I'm part of this club now. I just joined, I'm very new myself, but if you're interested, you know, let's meet up and let's go for a run together, you know? You down? Like, run with me, buddies, you know? And then, my friends, not only did she message me back in the affirmative, she was like, I'm down to go on a run with you. And there's another running club that I'm a part of and you should come out to it and we can run with the group. And the other thing is, this part I don't fully, fully understand the details of what she was describing, but from what I understand, this running club that we're about to go to, it has like a, uh, it's not explicitly said, but it has like an undertone of like a sort of a dating feel to it, if you know what I'm saying. My friends, running club has concluded. We're now sitting inside of this bar. Sexual tension is immense in this building right now. It is palpable, my friends. So the thing is like, if you're a single person, you're supposed to wear all black, okay? I didn't have any black clothes, so I did not wear black, but in the future, I'm gonna come wearing a black shirt. Look at all these people out here right now. Tons of people in this place. And I think now that the run is done, people just kind of sit around and just sort of chat with one another. Very overwhelming in there also. So like the thing is like, you have to wear a black shirt to indicate that you're a single person. I have a feeling, oh, I have a feeling like, so there's these, there's these two women at the very end and immediately they come up to me and they're like, okay, I see that you're wearing not a black shirt. So we need advice from you, me. And so I feel that like, that was my, that was like my kryptonite tonight. Okay. I made new friends though. I also joined Strava. Brandon, <laughs> how'd it go for you tonight? Yeah, I mean, I shot. <laughs> <laughs> 
I made new friends tonight. Um, if I come back next week, y'all are gonna be here again? Yeah. Okay, hell yeah. How'd it go for you guys? It was fine. It was, it was a good run. Yeah. How about, the, how about the Houston Hall part? Good. It was Bingling. Fine. It was yeah. nice to chat with people. Okay, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to this thing and try it out again. I'm gonna take a black shirt next time too, so I kind of fit in with this sort of crowd. And we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching the video this week. This has been year 14, week number 718. Next week will be week number 719.